Hello everyone, welcome back for another story. Did you remember that it's wear a hat day? I hope you did. It's okay if you didn't, but do you want to see my cool hat? Here it is. This is my cat hat. This is Chloe, my cat hat. Chloe, say hi to everyone. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm not going to wear Chloe on my head, but I did play a trick on you because it is April Fool's Day. Alright, I'm going to put on my Viking hat now. There's my hat. I can't wait to see yours. And I have a story today called April Foolishness because it is April Fool's Day, April 1st. April Fool's Day is a day when sometimes people play tricks on other people. Nice, kind tricks. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids had come for a stay. And wouldn't you know it, they picked the right day. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. The cows are, ouch! Imagine, says Grandpa, good gracious, alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the chickens are out! They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Oh goodness. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. He doesn't seem to care. I bet he thinks his grandkids are playing an April Fool's joke on him. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. Oh no, they're in the tomatoes. Oh hurry, don't wait. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the, the goats are all freed. Look at them. Ah, oh my goodness. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. I'd heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Look at that one. Do you think it's really doing that? Oh my goodness. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. He doesn't believe him. Then Grandma appeared. What a hullabaloo. That's like, what a craziness. Who's causing this noise, the grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Oh, he finally believes them. Grandma just smiled. As she pulled up a stool, she nibbled his toast and she called April Fool. Oh, it turns out Grandma was playing a trick on all of them so she could get Grandpa's breakfast. That is way too silly. I can't wait to hear what kind of tricks you played. Remember, they need to be friendly and really kind. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you so much. Thanks for coming for a story. Bye.